Hello, today I'm doing a short tutorial on how to do the shell stitch. For this tutorial, you're going to need some light colored yarn and a coordinating size needle that's appropriate for your yarn size. I chose sport weight yarn as well as a 4.5 millimeter or size 7 straight needle. Go ahead and please cast on 27 stitches for this pattern and work in a garter stitch for two whole rows. On the third row, I would like you to knit the first five stitches, place a marker, purl the next 11 stitches, place marker, and then purl the remaining 11 stitches. Go ahead and pause the video if you need to do that now, and then come back and meet me and we'll continue on with our pattern. Okay, so you should have already cast on your 27 You've already worked your first five stitches. They're staying with my garter pattern. I placed my marker. Then I worked another set of stitches. I have 11. Placed my marker. And then I finished off my last 11 stitches placing marker. So now when I look at it, this is what I see. I'm going to pause the video for a moment, switch the camera view so you can see what I see, and we will start working on our shell stitch. Keep in mind that the first five stitches of this pattern will always be knit. Doesn't matter if you're doing it on the wrong side or on the right side. It will always be knit for the first five stitches. The remaining 11 stitches will be purled on the wrong side and the pattern on the right side. So pause your video, make sure you have your markers in place and meet me back here. Okay, so now we have our 27 stitches all set up and ready to go. I have my five stitches at the beginning that are going to stay as a garter pattern. And then I have my marker, my next 11 stitches, another marker, and then my final 11 stitches. Remember, the two sets of 11 stitches will be for the pattern, and the five stitches at the beginning are simply the selvage edge. So first things first, knit the first five. Slip marker. Then I'm going to knit two yarn over, slip one, knit one, pass slip stitch over, knit five, one, two, three, four, and five, yarn over, knit the last two stitches together. slip your marker. Now I'm going to start it over with that knit two. So knit two, yarn over, slip one, knit one, pass slip stitch over, knit five, four, three, two, one, yarn over, knit the last two stitches together. Now I'm on the wrong side. I like to go ahead and slip that first stitch. But you can go ahead and purl it if you like. And everything on the back side, even the yarn overs, I'm purling. Purl every stitch until I get to my final marker.
Here's my final marker with my five stitches on the opposite side. Instead of purling, remember I'm doing a garter stitch, so I'm going to knit the final five stitches. Four, three, two, one. So I've just completed rows one and two and have started on my shell stitch pattern. This is how it should look right now. I have my five garter, and then I have my pattern. That's where my yarn over was. That's where my second yarn over was. And there is my third yarn over. And then my fourth one is hidden down there at the end. Going on to row three. Row three, starting off the same with the knit two. After I do my five garter, I can slip that one too. Do my five garter stitches. Slip marker. Knit two. Yarn over. Knit one. Slip one. Then knit one and pass slip stitch over the knit. Now I'm going to knit four. One, two, three, four. I should have two stitches left. I'm going to yarn over once. Knit these final two stitches together. Slip marker. And prepare for the next set. Same thing, knit two, yarn over, knit one, slip one, knit, pass slip stitch over, knit four, one, two, three, four, and knit the last two together after I've yarned over. So yarn over, knit the last two together. This is what I have so far. That was row three. Row four. Is all purl with the exception of the five stitches at the very end. And like I said, you could either purl it or slip it. But everything on the wrong side is purled with the exception of the five selvage edge stitches. Marker, give yourself some more slack. Fix that. There we go. I'm at my last five stitches. And those were knitted. There's row four and five, or three and four, I should say. Now let's go on to row five. This only has a set of 13 rows, including the pearl rows. So it's not a huge pattern stitch to do. Slip my marker, knitting two at the beginning, 
yarn over, knit two, Okay, going on to row five, knit the first five stitches, as is the pattern. Slip your marker. I still knit two at the beginning of row five. All of them are going to have knit two at the beginning. Then I make one, and I knit two, slip one, knit one, pass slip stitch over. So what I have so far, pass slip stitch over, knit three, two, one. I should have two stitches left. I'm gonna yarn over, knit two together, slip marker, then start it all over again. Knit two, yarn over, knit two, slip one, knit one, pass slip stitch over, knit three, two, one, I have two stitches left, yarn over, knit the final two stitches together. Give yourself slack as you need to, starting on the back side. Purling all the stitches except for the last five. Marker, some more slack. Slip marker. Knit these five, four, three, two, and one. So that was five and six. By this point, you should start to see it taking shape. There's my five stitches for my garter. There's the shell stitch beginning. Those pass slip stitch overs is what's creating the widening of the shell stitch. It'll continue to go up until I'm done. All right, moving on. Row seven. Make sure you have plenty of slack, plenty of yarn to work with. Knit the first five. Slip your marker, knit two, yarn over, knit three this time, two and one, slip, knit, pass slip stitch over, now I'm going to knit two, there's my final two stitches right there, so I'm going to yarn over and knit two together. Straighten it out a little bit. Slip my marker, start it again. Knit two, yarn over. Knit three, two, one. Slip, knit, 
past slip stitch over, knit two, yarn over, knit two together. Now we're on the back side again. Go through this, all my pearls. Slack. Slip your marker. My final marker, knit the last five, four, three, two, one. You can see the shape of the shell coming in. Going on to row nine, so we just did seven and eight. Eight was the pearl row. Did my five, slip my marker, knit two, yarn over, knit four, three, two, one, slip, Knit, pass slip stitch over, knit two, no, nope. correction, knit one, because I only have these two stitches left. Knit one, yarn over, now I knit two together, knit two, yarn over, knit four, Three, two, one, slip, knit, pass it over, knit one, yarn over, knit two together. Get myself some more slack. Show you what it looks like again. Pearl side. We have two more rows to do. Technically, one of the pattern is left if I don't count the pearl row. This is row 10. Pattern counts it as row 1 through 13. That's if you're repeating from row 1. But once I finish row 12, I won't need to go any further because in my pattern, you do some garter stitches again. All right, so here we are. Just finished row 10. More slack, I'm going on to row 11. Knit the first five. Slip my marker, knit two, yarn over, knit five, 
four, three, two, one, slip one, knit one, pass slip stitch over, yarn over, because look, by the time I get to row 11, this is all I have left. Yarn over, knit two together. Slip my marker, knit two, yarn over, knit five, four, three, two, one. Space it out there. Slip, knit, pass slip stitch over, yarn over, knit two together. And there you go. So there is your shell stitch. Um, there is a caution to not do this for large areas because as you can tell this stitch slants but for my pattern it worked just fine because that's exactly the look I was going for so this is what we have we have our five stitches that are garter the shell stitch is the 11 stitches here in the middle And then I have my next set of shell stitch, also 11 stitches in the middle. And you can see how it starts to look like a shell as you build on it. So that is my short tutorial on how to do the shell stitch. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me. And I will show you it from the other view. All right, so we made it through. We did our shell stitch. You should have this happening with your yarn. There's gonna be that slight slant. That's okay. It's a slanting stitch. And when it's blocked, you can imagine just how pretty it looks with the beautiful shape of the shell. So thank you very much for watching. And if you like what you've seen, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. And until next time, have a wonderful day, a wonderful life, wherever you are. Bye.